it's a constant evaluation every time a game is played. How did the starting pitcher do? Who is going to be the ace of the staff? Who is going to come up in the postseason and help this team win? Somebody's going to have to pitch well. Who's it going to be? So tonight it's Paxton. We'll see how he does. Because they're not going to get caught. They're going to win this division. The only thing I think the regular season has to offer for the Yankees is trying to get the best record. If not, the Ameri if not in baseball, it's certainly in the American League. But it's trying to get as healthy as you can and time for these pitchers to start performing. Because even if Severino comes back, Peter, the other guys have to do well. One starting pitcher is not going to be enough. Only means one win. If you don't, in, in the best of five series, if you end up losing the other three, then you lose in four games instead of getting swept. So let's see these guys. It's, a, it's an audition now. Who's our guy? Because to me, ace of the staff right now is still an audition. I don't think there's an ace. You might say, I believe Tanaka's the ace. You might believe that. He hasn't pitched like an ace. And, and if Severino comes back and he's better, then Tanaka's no longer the ace. But to your point, if Severino comes back and he's not good, how's he your guy? Who's my game one starter? That's what I'd be, if I was Aaron Boone... And I'm talking to my team going into these games. I'm having a pitchers-only meeting, and I'm saying, guys, the rest of this season is an open audition for who's starting game one. And everybody's in it. Herman, you're in it. CC, when you come off the IL, you're in it. Heck, I think an opener's in it. Why wouldn't it be? They never lose when they use an opener. That might even be in consideration. You know, you know, I, I can start Tanaka. He's got the history. He's probably pound for pound the best healthy pitcher that we have, but he hasn't pitched well, especially recently. Maybe the opener's on the table. Chad Green, get ready. You're going to be our starter. You're going to pitch the first two innings. Hold, uh, holder, like he did yesterday. You know what? You're going to pitch the first two innings, and we're going to go that way. And I am right now having an open audition for my game one starter. Yankees know they're not going to have to mess with the wild card. They're going to either play... Uh, depending on how it all shakes down, if they finish with the best record in baseball, they're going to wait and see who comes out of the wild card for a best-of-five series. Okay, gentlemen, who's our number one starter? Go. And and whoever loses out on it, all right, now you're auditioning to see who our game two starter is going to be and who our game three starter is going to be. And then you're going to be auditioning to see if you're even going to get a start in the postseason. That's what I'm telling these guys. And I... I think the opener's on the table. I know the Yankees don't want to do it, but isn't it out? What are they, 9-0 and now with openers? Maybe that's on the table. I think it should be. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Well, I think that's New York Yankees, best team in baseball, going with an opener in game one. Not because analytically it makes sense, but because that's their best option to win that they don't have a guy that can go game one. How crazy is that? How, does that tell you how great this offense is? I'll say it. Nobody else will say it. Over the last month, six weeks, their starting pitching has stunk. It has. And it has not affected them on the field one iota. It, that's it's a, crazy. That's what's It amazing. is really crazy. Between that, think about this. If I were to tell you, we talk about, like, making predictions and were the Mets still alive and all that. If I told you, I told you on opening day that the Yankees on August 7th would be decimated by injury, where almost every single significant player on the team would be hurt to the point where LeMahieu would be your best player. He would be the MVP of the team. And your starting pitching stunk. Where would you have them? Where, where, where would you think they were in the standings? 500? Yeah. Third place? Ten games back of the Red Sox or the Rays? Isn't that, isn't that where they are? No. Oh, where are they? They're, they're, the, they're battling to be the best team in baseball. Mm. Right now, as we take a look at the standings, because I don't know if you know this or not, it changes every day in baseball. Standings? Susan. They, are, they have a 655 winning percentage. They are, by the way, they're two, they're two wins behind the Dodgers. Dodgers right. at 76. But the Dodgers and the Yankees have both the best winning percentage at 65.5. That means the Yankees have won over 65% of their games, decimated by injuries. Yes, again, just showed the injuries. It's like the end of a movie. <laughs> the credits? They're like, credit. the credits are rolling. The end of a Star Trek season. <laughs>
It's incredible. And their and their starting rotation is awful. And they have the be, they're tied for the best winning percentage in baseball and the best winning percentage in the American League. And they are tied for the most wins in the American League with Houston at 74. They're just a percentage points better. Houston's 74 and 40, and the Yankees are 74 and 39. It's incredible.